Hello, uh, welcome to another video of Data Science with Julia. So this time I want to talk about debugging. So why I am interested in debugging? Actually, what is debugging? Like, let's say you have some programs and you just get some errors and all those stuff, right? Uh, you need to see what happens inside a program. It's like a doctor putting a telescope on you or taking a scan on you or something like that. Like they they can know what happens inside and so that like they can make better diagnosis. So debugging is the same thing in programming. Let's say like I just have some complex function and I just want to find out what happens in this loop each and every time, right? So uh, so how to do that? So there is a way in Julia where I can just say like, okay, put, put a breakpoint over here and then, yeah, like what to say, uh, try it again. Okay, so those things can be done in Julia and... Uh, we are going to see how it's been done and the Julia website itself like uh, uh, lists the debugger uh, uh, Julia has an inbuilt not an inbuilt debugger like it has a debugging package and uh, Julia website itself uh, lists uh, this debugger package as a very essential tool okay? so so maybe it packs some punch but yeah I was kind of disappointed like okay uh, Actually, my disappointed uh, might be biased. I'm coming from the Ruby community and debugging is so easy, but over here in this debugger documentation. So if you just, uh, I'll put these links in this video, uh, like video description. But if you look at the documentation, it's 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 lot and look looks complicated and all those stuff. Yeah, this might be because like I'm new to uh, what to say, like uh, this debugging and Julia and all those stuff. And so, so yeah, uh, it might be due to that reason, but yeah, we'll explore uh, what to say, what debugging is. But before that, yeah, I tried to debug in Jupyter uh, Notebook or Jupyter Lab, right? And I just did using debugger and then I just did some function and I just tried to do that. But it said like debugging uh, can be done only in Julia Ripper. You can't do it in, uh, what to say, a notebook, right? So that is another thing and uh, so yeah like uh, that's how it is but uh, yeah like we'll just see how to do that so before debugging like uh, you need to do something like of course uh, yeah over here I was in debug and doing something like uh, continue okay right uh, let me just exit this okay so before debugging yeah like you just go to Julia and you just add uh, packages like add debugger and there is also another package called infiltrator so like uh, which i found a uh, bit useful right there is another package called infiltrator right so that's the thing right uh, i think we'll look at infiltrator first because i just found that's more easy so you just add these two packages okay so It's called infiltrator. So, so you just add these two packages. I've added so like I won't be add, uh, executing this command now, right? Okay. So, so like you just add these two packages and press enter so that like this these packages will be added, right? So, okay. So let's say you just want to see how this program works and what are all the values of, uh, in those variables and all those stuff. So, how to do that, right? So uh okay so let me just first uh include this like uh include right? it's called as hypotenuse.g okay what this program does so first it uses infiltrator package okay right opposite side like you have this uh right angle triangle right like uh, uh, right angle triangle uh, okay 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 let's look at the wikipedia thing okay so you have this right angle triangle so the c is called that is the side a b that is like okay yeah if i okay let, let's go with this uh small uh what to say uh alphabets the c is actually called hypotenuse uh the a is called as opposite angle so if you consider this angle b a c okay that is this capital b a c uh if you consider that angle a is called as the opposite side and b is called as the adjacent side and c is called as hypotenuse okay so that's how it is but i don't think they had named it over here but okay yeah so that's how it is 
but if you look uh, it uh, obeys a property like uh, what to say hypotenuse is nothing but sum of squares of this opposite and adjacent uh, like that is the square root of sum of squares okay, so that's how it is so uh, we just want to uh, we have just put a infiltrator over here and it just stays at this break point okay so now if i just put like okay like if i just put for l now i can just see okay so continue means continue to the next infiltrate so nothing will happen continue so uh, okay, so that's it like it'll just the program will just finish will finish execute okay but uh, let me look at some other options right so if i just put like okay at locals Oh, okay it's printing nothing okay fine right okay so let me see what is the value of opposite ah it's printing something okay now let me see what's the value of sum of squares okay yeah sum of squares is 24 okay so that's how it is okay so so let me see what's the value of hypotenuse okay H Y P O T E N U S E. Okay, hypotenuse. Yeah, it's five. Okay, right. So you can just infiltrate into the code and look what values are there and uh, what to say. That's how it is. Okay, so uh, so that's how it is. And uh, print current. Okay, I'm just interested in this thing called trace. Okay, so I don't know what it is. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. i don't know what it means okay so okay so let me just exit out of it okay right yeah okay if i just exit yeah fine yeah it just comes out okay so possibly if you are executing a loop or something you can just put infiltrator and infiltrate and just see what happens and all those stuff right uh okay yeah and another thing yeah let's come back to this uh let's look at this julia debugger okay so that's how it is uh we have this thing we have put like using debugger and we have just put at bp uh, bp means breakpoint in debugger okay so i try to do something like okay like putting breakpoints on five using this command like there is a thing called bp add and i i couldn't get it, right so i couldn't just uh, make it work and i i don't know why okay so that's how it is so let me just uh do this thing like okay include okay debugging okay and let me put another breakpoint also like so that like okay yeah there is breakpoints over here and show right okay, right okay so debugging dot jl right okay fine and yeah i've included that but yeah it just prints some results okay so just run some but to uh debug it what i can just do is enter enter and now i can just put like add seven right now what happens so like uh if you are coming from other languages like python ruby where the debugger lets you do a lot of stuff over here julia i think it's uh, what to say like it's kind to it's kind of what to say like uh, compiled and all those stuff so you can't see your dot so if i just put something like total over here i won't get get it okay so i don't know why okay so that's the thing and but the breakpoint is after total so but it says like about to run like plus five plus seven so maybe i think i should put like c c means over here is continue okay so and yeah now it just comes to this breakpoint over here so now if i just put total hopefully no still i'm not getting anything right and uh, then what to do like i can add like w w means watch and i can just put like total okay now it says 12 okay right and w and uh, what to say first number first number it says first number and it also says like to total 12 okay so possibly like if you're using some kind of editors yeah i think you'll recognize this like this watch and all those things this w means watch and all those things so yeah like uh, rather than just running the function blind and just 
watching it fail. Possibly you can even catch it before it fails and you know why it fails and all those things. You can go step by step and all those things. Okay, so that's how it is. And over here, if you just put C, it means continue. Yeah, it just ends this program. So, okay, let's uh, uh, look at some other thing. Okay, so like uh, I will just uh, explain another one. Okay, and over here, this add numbers. Okay, so I can give a lot of numbers like one, two, three, and just tell it to add or something like that. So, okay, I'll just put like enter. Mm, okay. And uh, what to say? Four, five, seven. Okay. And this should be in array. Okay. So Julia is smart. Like you have just giving just one argument over here, array. And so yeah, it knows. Uh, okay, which function to take. Okay. So now let me just put like watch and okay total. And uh, <laughs> okay uh okay and now it just says okay this is undefined and all those stuff okay what i'll just put is i'll just put e exit uh okay like okay i'll just put this thing okay how to exit this okay quit debugger returning nothing okay yeah, i'll just put q okay whenever you get doubt just press this press right right i'll just exit this julia uh, okay right i need to put control d right. let me go into julia fresh because uh, something is happening like if I uh, yeah include the de debugging dot chair right okay now let me go to enter this one right so it takes time so maybe it's just compiling or something like that so now I'll just put w add total okay so that's the thing and let me put like w add numbers okay and now let me put like w and number right okay number is still undefined okay right so now let me put like okay now the first time the total is zero numbers is four five seven and number is nothing and let me just put like continue right and uh, okay so now let me put like w and uh what to say number right number okay yeah number is now four okay yeah now it got added twice okay so so that's how it is so the first iteration number is four the total is four and so that's how it is okay so first the total was zero okay the total was zero the numbers was this one and this thing and if you put continue once again right yeah. okay uh, okay 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 and okay Okay, continue and now it's just coming 16 okay like i just don't know why this w and uh, what to say fails and all those things and uh, okay let me just try this once again right okay continue 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 okay it just returns 16 and okay uh okay but yeah let me just try it another way so that like okay i'm just putting this thing enter and now i'll just put like okay w add total numbers and number right okay right uh okay let me put continue Okay, next, next, next. Okay, but yeah, anyway, I, I'm not sure like why it's not working and why it worked first. I'm not sure. But yeah, like, uh, let me just put continue and finish it off. Okay, right, right, right. Uh, okay, so over here, you're not even able to access the variables properly. But the thing is, you're able to watch it to some extent and uh, what to say. And after that, it's gone. Like, okay, so let me just put exit. Let me just put exit this and try it once again. So, Julia. And, uh, okay. Debugging.jl, right? Uh, now I just want to put like, okay, like uh, run. There is another thing called run, okay? And then add. 
So let me see what happens over here. Hit breakpoint. Let me let me look at total. Right? Okay. What if I put W at total? Right. Okay. Fine. And W add number. Okay, total is one, number is one, and that's how it is. Okay, so now uh, let me just seek for help and uh, add an expression to watch list. Okay, so now what if I put like W colon? So I'm just looking over here. Uh, colon and no, let me just put like no w colon. Let me put total no, no, still no. Okay, anyway, let me just put continue, right? Okay, now let me just put like uh. Okay, okay, okay. Now let me put once again W. Ah, now it just shows. Okay. Total is 3 and number is 2. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next, if I just put continue and yeah. Now, once again, if I just put W, total is 6 and number is 3. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm just getting. Okay. Now, if I just put continue, I think it'll end. Yeah. Fine. 6. Okay. So that's how you just do. Okay. So you just put W add and then you just put W, W, W and just boom go through it so that's how it is so that you can keep watching right so yeah this is how you just kind of debug there is two ways to do it infiltrate and using this uh, infiltrator and using this debugger uh i just feel infiltrator is a bit better than debugger or something like that yeah that's my personal preference but yeah if i look into debugger i think it will also be for, uh, more powerful there are modes like compile modes and all those things uh, in debugger which I still don't understand. Look, Julia, if you're coming from interpreted language like Python and all, Julia is kind of compiled to make it fast. Okay, so, so like it is, yeah, it's, I don't say it is kind of compiled, it is compiled and it works on a thing called LLVM. So, if you want just go and read about LLVM. So, I think it will be LLVM, right? Okay. Yeah, you can just go and find what LBM is and all those things, blah, 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 and all those stuff. But the thing is, like, Julia is super efficient and uh, it compiles to this thing called LLVM core and all those stuff, right? So that's why debugging in Julia might not be as easy as you can do it in Python or Ruby or some other uh, interpreted languages, okay? So that's the thing. But yeah, once even I just learn more, I'll also put more videos so that, like, you'll also know. So... Anyway, I just went into debugging because I just, uh, it became super pain for me to write decision tree and I didn't know what's happening inside. So that's it. But yeah, like somehow I just did it, uh, possibly due to my, uh, what to say, like programming history or something like that. But uh, yeah, like debugging is very, very important in any programming language. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, uh, yeah, do like, subscribe if this video was useful and all those stuff. Anyway, bye.